New Year, Zoom quiz with the family. The last one we had at Christmas, Happy Christmas by the way. Um, the last family Zoom quiz we had, everyone was eating Pringles and someone was drumming on the Pringles can and then the conversation went to the Pringles band. So we want to make, that's the challenge, to make an instrument out of a can of Pringles. So originally I thought I'd cut a hole in it and string some rubber bands over it and I thought I don't need rubber bands I've got strings off the guitar then I thought well if I'm doing that I could probably put a fingerboard on it if I was doing that I'd put a neck on it make it long enough and make it a decent scale length and I thought if I was doing that imagine this was wood that's about the proportions of a ukulele so then I thought I'd get my ukulele kits you know build your own ukulele because it would have a fingerboard fretboard already and I could just use it and I wouldn't have to measure frets and lay frets and do all that sort of hard stuff. So I went to the guitar shop in town, B Sharp Music in Dundalk, to go and buy one of those ukulele because I've seen them in there before. I didn't have any. When I told him what I was doing and I only needed it for the fingerboard, asked me if I wanted this. This end's all good, but this end's damaged. As you can see here, it's been squashed onto something or something squashed onto it when it's been transported so the strings are all but snapped i reckon if i pressed on that it might no not too bad but these two have snapped already the bridge is a bit knackered so i reckon i can uh, sand that back into a decent shape and the, the body's damaged so it's no good he couldn't sell it well i mean he could he sold it to me for 25 quid but 25 quid also included a new packet of strings so it was quite cool um it's like an 80, 90 quid ukulele normally. So my plan is basically that. Look how well that matches. So take the neck off, attach it to the tube, restring it. Play some, oh, it's terrible. Play some tunes at Christmas, at New Year. How hard can that be? My name is Matt. This is my song. Oh no words. Sing along. Snap <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> them. Get rid of the strings. No, that bridge. See it there, it's quite scuffed. So I think what I'm going to do is deal with that later. But the main bridge here, uh, I need to get that off. So I think I'm going to use some heat. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to measure each string, measure the top. That's the bridge, that's the nut, that distance on this string, I don't, I don't even know what ukulele strings are called yet, hang on, it's probably written on my thing. So this will be the G end, isn't it? No, this will be the G end. G, C, D, and this will be the A end. Measure them. And then when I put this all together, I know where to put it back. Look down there. Three, four, one millimeters. And then I'm gonna move down here and do the same thing. Put that on zero. And that's still three, four, one. Oh, well, that's handy. So three, four, one to this edge. Right. So the next step is a bit of boiling water which hopefully will heat up the saw. Well, this saw is dead handy because it's bendy, so I can kind of use it as a spatula, I don't know, scraper? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, and I've also warmed up the knife. No, didn't think about that. That knife is red hot. Which is good for what we want it to do, but not good for my fingers. Oh 
is working. Do you know what I might do? I wonder if you can hear that fan. I hope not. It's going to take me a bit of work to uh, fix that in post production. Uh, hopefully, the sound was better in the last video. Um, I don't know what's the story with this phone. I will eventually invest in a decent microphone. I got these for Christmas. Yeah, they're um, these yokes. They go in your like their earphones, but they don't have any wires. And I thought they might work as a decent microphone, but they don't. Right, hopefully that heat has done something. Get rid of that. Try this a bit. Hopefully that now. lift. I don't want to really cut the wood. Is it better getting the hair dryer out rather than getting this all wet? Ah! Yeah, didn't learn the first time. I don't want to get a heat gun on because that'll be too hot and I don't want to damage the wood. But now it starts to feel like I might be doing it anyway. Not damaging this top. It's working though. No, it's working down this end. Step by step. Bing. I don't think I've damaged that at all, which is good. Um, I don't know if I actually did release the glue. Really, I think this was just glued to the finish. Finish has come off. So I'll sand that down later and that'll go back to a nice finish. Next job. This job I think is to mark this out and cut the neck away from the body. If anyone's wondering what that's all about, that's what it's all about. Madam Beans gets a bit carried away when she's playing but now she's sleeping she's all peaceful she's got a new bow for Christmas she hates it there if you can see that line and then choppy chop there choppy chop there and then I think what I'm going to do is cut strips either here glue them all together and then I can use them to reinforce this because I don't think there's going to be enough strength in this hole I don't know I think if I keep it round the will like you can really put some force on these things when they're uh, when they stay round but as soon as you get a kink in them which I feel might happen uh, we're going to be in trouble. a line there and I think that's the line of where the back is glued to the sides so I think I'm just gonna risk it yeah 
<laughs> okay, so we got this bit of wood. Um, it's come. It's local. It's come from the forest up on the hill. We cut it. Yeah, last winter. We were cutting them down into boards, and at some point there was a nail in some. Of, some of them had nails in them. If you find a tree that's got a nail in it, it's probably got more than one nail in it or screw. Uh, so if we get to that, we stop. So I brought a few of these home. I just cut this off a piece. My plan now is to kind of see the radius there. So I'll radius this. And I can glue it inside. Radius that, and then we've got something the bridge will stick to. Might not radius it, or might leave that poking out for the bridge. I'll decide on that when we get to that point. Um, I thought I had a plane in the um, shed, a little hobby plane. Uh, no idea where it is. So, uh, might be doing this with the axe. Which will be a bit of fun. I got this last Christmas. It's a uh, Grant's first Brooks. Splitting axe, firewood splitting axe. Sent to me by Pete, my friend in Sweden. And I'm gonna sort of roughly try and get to that line. And then uh, it's getting there. Definitely would be uh I think it would be easier with a plane. Uh, it's looking the axe is sharp really, but uh, these knots are tricky. But now, uh, we're getting there. It's got to do the whole of the rest of it. Okay, so, as uh, far as a roughing sort of pass goes, that's not too bad. A little bit to take off of there. It's got a big lump there. Next thing we got to figure out is how do we clamp it? Will Gorilla Glue stick to the inside of this? You know what? Probably should clean out the inside of the. Yeah. Do you know what I think we'll do? Yeah. Right, so this is sanded. I've made this shorter so we can stick it in there. That goes there. That goes there. This goes on the top. When they're in the right place, that'll pop in. That'll clamp at the back and at the front. This little squeeze clamp should hold it. Now the glue says it takes 24 hours to dry, but I haven't got that long, so we'll do it overnight. We'll give it 12 hours, what time is it now? 7, we'll probably give it 14 hours, probably 9 o'clock before I'm up. I'm ready to do this sort of stuff. And then it's just glue the neck back on. Oh, and the bridge. And then string it and tune it, and right, we'll do all that tomorrow. But yeah, glue for now. Should have kept a bit of kitchen roll. I obviously want the Pringles logo on the top. Right in the end. Right, so we'll leave that for 12 hours. Today is 
New Year's Eve, which is the day we're supposed to be playing this. We're due to have the Zoom chat at seven. And I've had a bit of a lazy morning today and it's now just gone one, which gives me six hours to get this into a playing condition, which isn't really enough. It's not enough for the glue to dry, which then means I'm gonna to have to screw this on just to give it more support, resist the strings sort of pulling it up. Um, but before I can do that, I need to make this square. So you can see it's proud here. Well, I hope you can anyway. It's proud here and it's shy here. Um, so this flush cut saw, I think, cut that flush, which then should make this sit. See, at the moment it's a bit on the piss. No good. I need it to be. I need the center line of this to run down the center line of this. Also, I think I need to take this part off. It's not doing anything anyway, it was just cosmetic. But because this is round and this is flat, I'm going to need to sink, sink the bridge in. Which means the whole fretboard is going to have to be lower. Otherwise we end up with a really, really tall action. Uh, a low action. Which means the strings are going to bounce off this. Which is no good. So before I can do this need to do this but I can't do this until I've done this so job one cut that flush that is now flush does it sit straight oh do you know what that's also not flush need to fix that center line on there and I've marked who means I've marked a center line on the ruler hey through the three uh, fret dots and the bottom there and hopefully now you can't in the way there beans So now hopefully when I rest this on here, it will line up, okay, so it needs to go more, it's easier to see when you look down, the length of it, there's ever so slightly off, it needs to be more this way, which means I need to take a little off here, okay, well we'll do that, it needs more off on this side. you can see that that's on the centre line there, which means it's time to drill a hole and glue her up. Oh, it's not. Yes, it is. It's time to drill a hole and glue her up. Pilot drill. That drill bit is the same size there's the shaft there. Can I drill straight? Next challenge is how accurate is my drilling? I'm going to even hold this. This is risky. Okay, so that's 
back on my marks, longer drill bit. Using this as a countersink just because it's the same size as the screw. So I'll be able to fill it up. I think it's glue time. Let's glue that. Glue this little shim in. I ended up getting this a bit too low. I'm going to shim that with this thing. That gets glued in too. And that goes on in the marks. And then screw in. It's the first time we've actually seen it look like an instrument. So his next job is check the center line. Looks good to me. No one way to find out, I suppose. Uh, I may have messed this up. I need to put a really tall bridge on this. Yes. Okay. Discovered here is I'm a muppet. So I have to cut down where the bridge is to get it flat, and then I'm gonna have to raise the bridge up. It's handy that I kept this, I suppose. Balls. Right, where does it need to be? Four, three, four, one. Let's mark that at least. Yeah, I hope we don't need them because I'm going to take these wings off and make it a bit smaller. Wings off. Could have been a mistake. See now it's size 52 mil. So if I go 26 mil, Okay, we've had a bit of a catastrophe. I'm going to try and knock these bits out so I can lie this bridge support in there. And what's happened is it's pushed, the glue hasn't been quite dry enough and it's pushed away. Just now making this quite difficult. To level out, so I'm gonna have to have a think. Okay, after a bit of big brain stuff, I think I have it. I used a chisel to knock away those edges, like I was sort of planning to do, but I came in quite shallow and used the rolling pin as a hammer, wooden rolling pin. Um, so it was nice and gentle. And what I did then, let's see, I glued that block in. And I countersunk two screws and used screws for clamping because there's no way to clamp this now, really. I used a couple of screws to clamp that down and then got the bridge measured up. If you remember from the 
On the diagram, we were looking for 341. If I line that up, we're not there. We are at 341, and I've measured the top and the bottom. So that is ground. So now what we do is we let the glue dry as long as possible. We're meeting at 7, so I reckon 20 to 7 I'll string it up and see what happens. Either it'll work or it won't. Right, so while it's gluing, the glue's drying, I figured, I had an idea, did a fill some time. It's not really a Carla brand anymore, now it's a Pringles brand, so I was wondering if I can make like a headstock veneer and maybe just this guy's face. Got this piece of paper and I measured where the tuning pegs were. I could have taken them out but this was, and I felt quicker. And then what I'm doing is I'm rubbing my finger on the crease. Sharp knife. That should match that, which it does pretty well. So now I can take this, okay. so I could do something like that, which I think I like. So go around it. in there as well. That looks pretty good to me. Good. Junior holes. Now, them all will need to be bigger, but... Pinky, pink, plonk! Do it like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, I've got an idea. I took off one of the tuners. And I knocked out this wee... Collar thing? I don't know what it... Collar cuff? I don't know. It goes in the back of there. Which means, when it's on the... When it's on the guitar, I'll be on the ukulele. I can widen these holes a bit. I'll sit in like that. I'm just going to look way more professional. Yep, that's the way we're doing it. And then the reason I'm using this, so I can get this out. See this top one here is slightly off. So we just do it now. Yes. Yes, we just do it now. Seven, so I haven't really given it enough time. So I think what I might do is try and leave some of the tape on. It might give us a bit of extra clamping. 
So I'm worried when I put the strings on that it'll just pull the bridge off. And it seems fairly solid. I don't know, I think I'll leave the tape on for now. And I've got to rebuild the headstock first. Drill out them holes in the right place, the right size. Put the tuners back on. And then we can string balls. There you go. So that's the collar. I need to find the drill bit. That's about right. How you tune a ukulele? Pringle. Oh, Pringle lady. Uh, the same way you tune a guitar. You just pull up the thing. You know what I mean? Like, how do you know if it's the right note? Oh, what are the numbers? Yeah. Like, what are the. Uh, A, E, F, G. I have it written down somewhere. It's written on the back of the string packet, which I don't know where that is. A, E, C, G, no, all the way around, G, C, E, A. I have to take this Made in China sticker off as well. I hope it bloody makes a noise now. Right. It's time to put strings on. I've got less than half an hour and I don't know how to play it yet, so I've got to get some strings on and learn to play a tune. That should be look. Really? Yeah. It's no good. It's not going to work. Well, one other option. Right, it's not pretty, but it's gonna have to do. Uh, I'm gonna fix it after, but I need. I... I'm supposed to be playing at seven. Right, I've got four strings on. Whoop. Bridge is staying where it should. Uh, I still need to tune it. But it does make a noise. some chords now so I'm just editing this video you're watching now and you'll see there's a gap there just before the next scene comes on that's what this is um we're in a bit of a rush near finished just in time for the zoom thing played a couple of notes in the quiz um didn't really do any more watch Jules Holland and then I figured it was time to learn how to play this thing because uh, I haven't filmed any sort of ending. Um, be nice. I don't know how to play and I definitely don't know how to sing. Here it is. Sing along. <laughs> 